Next, we're going to uh, tell Xcode how exactly each cell is going to look like inside here, the table view, cell for row and index path. Uh, first of all, what is happening over here, Xcode declared a cell identifier. Uh, next, <coughs> this is the UI table view cell uh, default class. We can override it if we want to. If we want to, we can create our own uh, UI table view cells if we like. And then there's an if over here, and it tells uh, Xcode that if uh, the next cell is empty, it's going to create uh, a cell with the class that we specify over here. It's the default class, UI table view cell default, and as I said earlier on, we can edit and override this class if you want to. And then we have to return the cell uh, over here. This function over here is used if we select some uh, table view, uh, table view cell, and we specify what's going to happen when we when we do so. And uh, next functions are for editing uh, cells, and I'm going to use these functions in uh, next tutorials. So right now we're going to select the H file. <coughs> I'm sorry, and we're going to declare a new object instance. It's going to be an NSRE, which is going to contain uh, the labels data array add property retain non atomic NSRE data array. Notice that I didn't use an IB outlet over here because an NSRE doesn't need an IB outlet. Uh, some of you may not know what an NSRE is. Uh, think of NSRE just like a matrix. Uh, we're going to store uh, multiple objects inside. And we're going to synthesize it over here. Synthesize data array. Now we're going to override the view that load. And we're going to specify what, what objects are going to be inside the data array. Oops. In this array, array with objects, one, two, oops, three, no. This is pretty straightforward. I don't think I need to explain this. We specify that this, this array is going to contain these objects and it is very important to add this nil at the end uh, of an array declaration. Now we're going to uh, set up our cells. We're going to use a cell text label dot text equals and a string string with format data array object at index index path row <coughs> okay so now we're going to tell Xcode <coughs> that there are going to be how many rows are going to be inside our table view. Data array count. So first of all we told Xcode that uh, there are going to be as many rows inside uh, our first section and only section as many there are objects inside the data array and then we told Xcode uh, to grab the label uh, from the uh, corresponding index inside our data array. So if it's uh, in, so if the cells index is zero, it's going to grab a zero index from the data array. If you don't understand uh, NS arrays, look it up in the documentation. It's uh, pretty well described over there. So now we're going to check if everything is working. If our table view works as we programmed it to do so and everything is working. We have three 
uh, three cells with one to three that we specified inside. Now we're going to tell Xcode what is going to happen when we uh, when we select a, mm, a cell. Everything is explained in this uh, in this comment, so I don't think think I need to explain this, but I will. First of all, we uh, we initiate a new class object, detail v controller uh, new view equals oops detail v controller lock in it with lib name detail v controller and the bundle is going to be nil. So navigation controller push view controller new view animated yes. So what just happened over here? First of all, we initiated a new uh, view controller instance inside, and we told uh, the navigation controller that uh, it's going to have to push inside another view controller. So uh, our detail view controller is going to pop up uh, in place of our table view controller. Now we're going to play around in the detail view controller. First of all, we're going to declare a new object instance of UI label label add property retain non-atomic UI label label. Now we synthesize it inside the M file and synthesize label and we're going to play around some more with the interface builder now we're going to grab a label from the library resize it delete the text because we're going to uh, set the text ourselves and point the outlet from the uh, connections inspector to the label then tell Xcode that our label is this label and save and now something difficult is going to happen over here now when the navigation controller pushes another view uh, we have to set up uh, what the label is going to look like. So first of all, we're going to grab the label, new view, label, 